The mediastinum is an anatomical cavity, which is between the lungs and includes the heart, aorta, thymus, trachea, and esophagus. Its boundaries are formed by the sternum anteriorly, the spine posteriorly, and the lungs laterally. Further, the mediastinum can be subdivided into three anatomical areas, specifically the anterior, middle, and posterior mediastinum. These distinctions are important as the location of a mass can hint to its etiology. Masses in the anterior mediastinum can include lymphoma, both Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's, thymoma and thymic cysts, germ cell tumors, retrosternal goiters, and thyroid masses. Masses in the middle mediastinum can include lymphadenopathy, or enlarged lymph nodes, tracheal tumors, bronchogenic cysts, or tumors, and pericardial cysts. Masses in the posterior mediastinum can include esophageal tumors, esophageal diverticula, parasophageal hiatal hernias, lymphadenopathy, or nerve sheath tumors. Diagnosis of mediastinal masses is difficult because many patients will be asymptomatic until the mass begins to encroach on surrounding structures. As such, large anterior masses may cause dyspnea when the patient lies supine. Similarly, Posterior masses may cause dysphagia or odynophagia by compressing the esophagus. Lymphomas will typically present with B symptoms and may be diagnosed earlier if the following are present. Either nighttime sweating, fevers of greater than 38 degrees Celsius, or unexplained weight loss. Most commonly, however, a mediastinal mass will be discovered incidentally on chest x-ray. Further investigation may involve a CT or MRI scan, followed by a tissue biopsy, if indicated, which can be performed by endoscopy, thoracoscopy, external needle biopsy, etc. Treatment typically depends on the type of tumor. Thymic cancers may be treated by surgical resection and possibly radiation. Lymphomas are treated with chemotherapy, followed by radiation.